because tomorrow I would rather have my evil than this bike, I think. Yeah, yeah more maneuverable. And it's got more travel. This is only 160, 150. I have 170, 165 on the e-bike. So, or on the evil. Turtle wall. Yeah, we came here yesterday. We didn't climb that turtle wall thing but we came around this section. Yeah. That one's uh, you gotta go down this side though, don't you? Oh yeah, there it is. Let's go. Woo! I'll do it one more time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <gasps> you know, that'll be sweet. I bet that video looks awesome. And the cool part is I can literally download that to my phone immediately and airdrop it to you. Like when we're done riding, just remind me. Because I can email it, I think. This is gonna be a short clip. How are you guys? That's a fun little section right there. It's funny too, because when I rode that, Tim didn't even know about that line either. Yeah, I didn't know about it. I just saw it and I'm like, oh, you go down over here, because it's definitely way steeper, that side. Maybe you're right, maybe this is paradise. <laughs> Are you? This huck to flat is painful. Yeah, that's not worth it. See, I'll go off stupid stuff like that, but I won't go over that little rock. I think the problem is that that big one has built such a big wall in my head that the little one like doesn't even stand a chance. That and I've just seen all the videos of people that mess the big one up. <laughs> I like watching people crash. Friday fails, I think that's funny as heck. Like, some of you are just like, oh man, I hope that guy's okay. But you know, if, uh, if they're on Friday fails, they're okay because they turn the footage in.
good evening. It feels a lot later than it really is. It is five, five to five. Southern Utah in general is just amazing. You guys. Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Six hours of what? Six hours of frog hollow. Frog hollow. Up there by Jim. Huh. Where I'm staying? Yeah. That's where you're staying. Because I literally, Jim is like within walking distance of my camper. Yeah, so Jim, it's a six hour race. See how many you lose, you can get six hours. Oh. Wow. Jim is part of it. Hopefully they put you out on the rim too. That place is a lot more technical and harder. Because Jim was pretty cross country. I got it last I, time. I oh, well, it helps to have an e bike. Guess we'll find out if I can come down to you or not. I don't know, this looks like a trail too. They all look like trails. Yeah, yeah buddy. How are you guys? Good evening. I don't 
don't know, there's one that goes left too. Because we accidentally went up that one left of the fence for a while. And then we came back down this one. Came back down and went up this one, I mean. Yeah, this was pretty fun last time. my leg tired even on the e-bike. <sighs> no, it's gotta be the seat. It's still making that noise. I'm pretty sure it's just like, I think as time goes by the glue that holds those carbon fiber into those little posts eventually like it must just break loose and I think as I'm sitting on it is it's rubbing inside that little sleeve when I put weight on it Goodness for transmission shifting. <laughs> Clunk. fortunate that all this is in Utah. <laughs> Go from fat biking in the snow to a few hours away you're in the desert with not a lick of snow in sight except for on the mountain peaks. Probably need to learn to do some color correction on my videos and make the color stand out better. One thing at a time though. The plan is every video just to improve something. Just a little something more. And then after a hundred videos I might be okay at it. I don't think colors ever really come out real when you record them because it never looks as good as it did in person. Yeah. 
Yeah, full sun definitely helps. Like having sun, shade, I can always tell. Like today is a cloudy day, so all the reds will be a little muted. That's a reminder to turn your bell on and subscribe. Haha. <laughs> I don't think we came down this. Pretty sure like me and Tim went back the same way. Uh-oh. Trying to throw some rocks in the trail for me. Probably take a picture at some point considering we haven't took a single picture today. I got this. This is cool with the, yeah, the black ash in the background. Because you're coming down that fast. But I think those, most of those cameras can do like, can't they do that where they take like a hundred pictures in a second or something? My cell phone can do it. I don't session any uphills. Unless I need to do it one time for video prosperity. Taking the high line. Oh, Sorry. you're good. I don't think you stopped me. Just the tire slid out. There's another rock roll off that too. Well, you definitely got your exercise in. Well, I have a feeling it's going to be some hike a bike tomorrow, so you'll have some time to relax on the way up, I think. Well, I would assume we were shuttling. I would hope so, but I don't know. We might not be. comes the chunk, Chunkosaurus Rex. It's a 
Glacier Carpet Canyon. See, I always try to clip it at the end of the downhills so that's a separate video. So when I go to editing, I can see the break in it. Nice. Makes it so much faster. Learned a few things. If you just record it all and you're screwed, you have to watch it all. Re edit it. Don't forget that one on the end. Yeah. George riding and ibuprofen go hand in hand. It just beats you up, man. Hello again. So many different lines up here. I said there's so many different lines up here. Like I rode it three times and I rode three different lines. After my battery died the first time. Which I'm gonna stop and check before we drop in. Just look at my percentage. Right up here, isn't it? Yep. Right here, buddy. But we'll see.
Bloody nice. And a little drop. Yeah. Yeah, I looked here last time. I looked here last time and because I was like, dude, there's gotta be some more lines right here. I'm sure you'll run into them. Just keep an eye out. that little sand pit it's like right here somewhere right because that's the neighborhood we came out like we parked in yeah at least I think I could be wrong red rock all kind of looks the same to me See, we literally rode right into this from the neighborhood. Somewhere into here. Because we it was like just up a short little hill and then boom, you were into the little sand, oh nice. Into the sand pits. Maybe there was parking signs, but everyone was ignoring them. Yeah, this is it, where the drops are. <laughs> 